Hi guys, it's me again, DJ Steph, and welcome to another episode from Silent Noise. I hope you're all safe and healthy at home, and speaking of staying at home, now's the perfect time to organize your tracks. So when I graduated from the Silent Noise DJ school, the very first question I asked my mentor was, what kind of songs do I put in my playlist so that I can ensure that the audience will enjoy it? So I'm sharing tips that I learned from school. So go ahead and grab your record box and let's get organized! So first thing that you have to consider is that if you're playing for a venue, then you should familiarize yourself first what kind of music they're playing there and what kind of audience they have for the night. So it's a good thing that you can visit that place before your actual set. Then if you're playing for a private event, then more or less the client will tell you what kind of music they want to hear for the night. But if not, it's a good idea to ask the demographics of the crowd that you'll be playing for. So in your record box, you can switch to export mode and then the two-player mode so that you can practice your tracks in your laptop even if you don't have a controller at hand. Organizing your tracks within crates beforehand will help you find the energy or the genre for your DJ set. So for example, if you think that you're playing for a hip-hop crowd, then you will really have a hard time if you only have one crate for just hip-hop, right? Remember what I said about asking for the demographics? That's important because you can actually um, segregate your hip-hop crates according to era. For example, 90s hip-hop, 2000s hip-hop, and top 40 for hip-hop. So if you observe that you have a young crowd, you can always go for the top 40. And if you have an older crowd, you could go for the 90s and the 2000s hip-hop. It's really up to you to mix in what kind of songs you'll be playing just by observation, especially when it's a mixed crowd. Another example is for electronic dance music. If you're planning to play progressive house in your set, then you can divide your folder into one progressive house with lyrics and then another one is progressive house without lyrics or instrumental this will help you pump your crowd and if you observe that they're already tired from dancing you could easily switch from the instrumental tracks to the lyrical ones so that they can sing along while they're resting from their chairs lastly if you really 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 want to get organized then you can arrange your folders in your desktop the same way you arranged your playlists or crates in your record box. That's it for this episode. Don't forget to like this video and share this to your DJ friends. This is DJ Steph from Silent Noise signing out.